and that is what's known as uh, uh, integration in Backstage, a Git integration if you want to. So setting up a Git integration is different than setting up a, a OAuth, a sign-in uh, integration. It's very different. Um, and that's where, if you remember earlier, we, we, we use GitHub OAuth for our Git in, uh, sorry sign-in integration, but we use GitHub app or a GitHub personal access token for our, um, uh, you know, Git uh, uh, integration. So this is where you can see we need to add the integrations piece and uh, uh, this will work. So let's let's go ahead and create a GitHub uh, personal access token um, and uh, use that here. In production setup, you should be using GitHub app instead of this. Now you can do this with all the Git providers. You can do this with GitHub, uh, GitLab, Harness as a code provider, um, Keret, Azure Repos, Bitbucket, a uh, bunch of things to support it. Where do we go? Developer settings, uh, personal access token, classic, generate token. I can create repos, that's good. Um, quick token live stream on market to expire as tomorrow uh, yes and it cannot read my local stuff it's just public token copy this go to your app configure.local again uh, and then add this integrations config and then do github um, I'm gonna keep this here and this is what you need to add so host github.com token is my token okay now for one get one type of integration you can add number of hosts so the other thing you can do here is like okay this is for my github.com but for my ghe.mycompany.net the token is something else or the auth provider something else so that is also something you can do you can also connect to both github and gitlab and bitbucket and harness at the same time um, so that is also possible so now we have added a github integration what does this mean again this means that my backstage app can read yaml files or make call github apis using this token okay so if i reload this uh, and if you go to create and if you go to register this is the this is the piece where um, you can add a github yaml uh, let's let's use a, a public yaml that i have i have a component um, it should be able to read that you see component is here in our catalog we can see a Python library this is something that I just in ingested from uh, this so that completes our git integration so let's uh, mark that as done 